Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, we're gonna be talking about some new updates with a new franchise, or three, that might be in the works. Um, yes, we are getting three new franchises of Drag Race, so I figured I would do an updates video for you all and talk about all things Drag Race. But before we do get into that, make sure you're liking this video and commenting down below. It really helps with my, my algorithm communications, if you will. And really helps me grow my channel. Again, I am still a relatively small channel, so every single comment really makes a difference for me, and I really appreciate it. Um, you can also make sure you're following me on my other social medias as well. I've been having a lot of fun over there. Uh, Twitter, at Samateur Hour. Instagram, and TikTok, at Samateur Hour. I actually have been posting some TikToks recently, so y'all should definitely go check those out. Because it's fun. TikTok's fun. Alright, um... So with that out of the way, all out of the way, make sure you're subscribing. You know the drill. We're gonna talk about three new franchises that are gonna be coming on Drag Race. Three new franchises. RuPaul's takeover of the world is becoming more and more intim Im imminent. Imminent. That's the word. Um, and some of these franchises, I think, are franchises that people have been asking for for a very, very, very long time. So this is super, super, super exciting. And the first one I want to cover is one that I think has been in the desires for a very long time, has been wanted for a very long time, something that just makes sense. Um, we are getting Drag Race Brazil. They put out a casting call for um, queens from Brazil through World of Wonder. Again, the, there was some speculation online that it was just for Queen of the Universe, but I'm pretty sure they've already casted for that, so I think this is a separate thing, and also they didn't specifically ask for Queens Who Can Sing. But we are getting a Drag Race Brazil, and this is huge, because I feel like the Brazilian fan base for Drag Race is so huge that this just makes sense. It The math is mathing for this. And it's something that honestly has surprised me that it's taken so long to create. Because if you think about it, we have several European franchises at this point, correct? And honestly, besides the Switch, which wasn't even originally a Drag Race franchise in Chile, we didn't have any Latin American franchises. So this is super, super, super exciting that we're getting Drag Race Brazil. I think it just makes sense. It's a smart move on World of Wonders part. And I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Um, if I were to speculate about, like, a host or casting, I don't know. Um, some people are speculating that Grad Queen might be the host. Which, on the one hand, would make sense because Grad Queen has worked, wor worked with World of Wonder. However, I'm not from Brazil, so I can't really speak on whether or not she would be a good host. Um, but I can see that potentially happening. I'm just super excited for Drag Race Brazil. Like I said, it makes sense. The math is mathing for this one. It makes sense. There, I, I'm excited for this one. I'm super, super, super excited for this. They also put out a casting call for Drag Race Germany. <laughs> yes, Germany is getting another drag, getting a Drag Race. Which again is another European country. But it, again, it makes sense. Um, more and more European countries are getting drag race. We have France, Spain, Sweden, I believe, is getting one. Belgium, um, uh, Holland. Well, I don't know if Holland's continuing. UK. It's all over the, all over in Europe, so it makes sense that they would be getting a, um, drag race Germany. The math is mathing for this one as well. Um, I'm excited for this one. I don't know. I imagine it'll be pretty successful. I think there's a pretty big audience for this. I mean, obviously, there has to be for them to put out a casting call. And again, this is just World of Wonder expanding even more, which is super exciting, and we'll have to wait and see, but I'm pretty excited for this one as well. Again, they put out three casting calls at once. Like, this is pretty impressive. And then the final one, this is another one that I think people have been waiting a long time for. We are getting Drag Race Mexico. Again, Drag Race Mexico. This makes sense. I I am here for this. I love seeing more Latin X representation on Drag Race, and I'm super excited. Um, 
I have seen some people online speculating that maybe Valentina would be the host. I don't know if that necessarily makes sense. I'm not from Mexico, obviously. But, I mean, I guess that works. I don't really know. Let me know what you think down below about Valentina hosting. Does that make sense to you? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm really excited for this one as well. Again, more Latin American countries. It makes sense. This is something I have been wanting. Who knows, maybe we'll get Drag Race Argentina. We have Chile already. I, I'm just here for all of it. All of it. Because we have so much in Europe already, right? So just think about all the opportunities that we have in South America, Central America, Asia, potentially even, I don't know, maybe South Africa. Like, just, I'm excited to see Drag Race take over the entire globe. And I feel like we are slowly getting there. And it's super exciting. Um, obviously we have a lot of other shows that have already filmed. We have Drag Race Sweden. Well, I don't know if they filmed. But that, that's going on. We have Drag Race uh, Philippines about to premiere. Drag Race Italy is coming back. Um, Drag Race Belgium. Drag Race. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere, to say the least. And it's super exciting. Obviously, I will be covering all of these updates as we find out more information. If there are any rumored cast lists, any new host updates, or any of the above. So make sure you are following my channel at Samateur Hour. I have a lot of fun time here on my YouTube. And if you are new here, make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're liking and doing all the things. Also, let me know what sort of content you would like to see on my channel. I have a lot of fun time posting here on the interwebs. Um, obviously, Down Under aired, and we will be covering that later. I will be honest with y'all. I was not crazy about this episode of Down Under, episode 2. It, I had some issues with it. I kind of hated the challenge, and I kind of hated a lot of it. The lighting isn't it. I don't know. I'm going to see if I'm going to cover Down Under. Well, let me know if you would like to watch those reviews. Um, we do have Canada coming up this Friday, so that review will be out Saturday. And, yeah, we have some exciting stuff coming up. Philippines premieres in August, August 17th, I believe. So, again, it's just going to keep on coming. UK4 is right around the corner, amongst many other seasons, so I'm super excited. Um, let me know what else you want to see on the channel. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Come join the Samateur Hour community. We have a fun time over here. And you can also follow me on my other social media platforms. Like I said earlier. Twitter at Samateur Hour. Instagram at Samateur Hour. And TikTok at Samateur Hour. My TikTok is a little bit less drag race focused. But it's kind of all over the place. But TikTok is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying that. I'm trying to get back into posting on there. My Twitter is trying to be more active as well. Live reaction sort of content for the new episodes and all the above. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow me on all of those. Liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Um, I will keep you all updated with these new franchises and all the above. So I will see you all later. Have a good rest of your day and bye.